Today, I'm gonna be talking about if it's worth it for you guys to switch from keyboard and mouse to controller on Fortnite. As always, drop that like and subscribe to the channel if you are new, if you do enjoy the video. Those things are free, just take a second and really help me out a lot, so I really do appreciate it. Now let's get into this. So first of all, we're just gonna get into some general points. And the first in that category is going to be that controller is actually pretty easy to get good on, but it's really hard to get great on. We're gonna make our way back to that point in a little bit, but I will say, I know there's a decent amount of console players that actually use keyboard and mouse on console, and I gotta say, if you're in that situation, I would definitely say use a controller on console. It's literally what it's made for. You have so many more advantages using a controller on console versus a keyboard and mouse. There's a ton of cons in using keyboard and mouse on console, so I would definitely say if you're on console, use controller. Now, my answer on whether or not you should switch to controller varies from person to person. Depending on what type of player you are, if you're playing Fortnite just casually, if you're playing it to make content, if you're playing it competitively, for all of these options, the answer is going to change. Some of you should switch, some of you shouldn't switch. So I've put together a list of all the pros and cons that I think there are for switching to controller and just controller in general. Starting off with pros, this goes back to if you're playing Fortnite to make content. If you're a Fortnite YouTuber, if you're a Twitch streamer, if you post clips on TikTok or other social medias, in that event, controller is a lot better for content. I'm not sure as an overall Fortnite player base if there's more controller players, I would probably assume so. And because of that, there's so many more controller players seeking out other controllers controller players, whether it's settings, content videos, all sorts of content, they want to see content made by people on their same input. So content creators that play on controller generally see more views in their content. And a lot of times they get more exposure just for playing on controller because a lot of controller players like to watch other controller players, especially for tips on controller or looking at controller settings or controller binds. So switching to controller is a good idea if you're a content creator. Another pro for switching to controller or playing on controller is all all the options for sensitivity. On keyboard and mouse, you only have a few set sensitivities. You have your X, your Y, your scoping, and your targeting sensitivity, which basically means that you have to do a lot of stuff on the same sensitivity, like your building and your movement sensitivity have to be the exact same. While over on controller, you have so many different options for sensitivity. You have your build sense, you have your edit sense, you have your look sense, both X and Y. You have your ADS sense, both X and Y. You have your dead zones. You have all sorts of different sensitivities you can fine tune to the exact spot that you like. And along with that on controller, there's a lot of different options for what you can actually use. Like you can play one hand claw, you can play double claw, you can play octopus claw, you can play paddles, you can customize all your binds and even just play standard controller. So there's a lot of customizing that you can do there to maximize your skill potential on controller. I will say if you are starting controller new, I highly suggest either picking up paddles or starting to play claw from the start. If you go in and learn like standard controller and and then you try to switch, it is a whole process, it takes so long to learn. If you just start from the beginning, it might take longer to initially learn, but in the long run, it's gonna save you so much time. You'll be able to get good on controller way faster with either claw or paddle. And along with that, just like on keyboard and mouse, when you initially start, you wanna optimize your binds so you're not practicing on bad binds and wasting your time. So yeah, definitely pick up some paddles or learn to play claw. And trust me, you'll be glad that you did it at the start. Another pro for switching to controller is that controller overall is relatively inexpensive. You can get a good controller setup like I have for significantly less than you can get a good keyboard and mouse setup for. I have my standard controller, plus I have control freaks on my thumbsticks, I have a control freak controller grip, I have this back attachment which adds four extra programmable buttons on the back of my controller, and all that together is only going to run you $130. Which yeah, that's still a decent amount of money, but when you compare that to a good mouse and keyboard, you're looking at a difference of at least a couple hundred dollars, possibly more. Of course, there are the expensive controller options. You can go and customize a scuff or a battle beaver, all those things, and those can run up in over $300. But actually, a lot of the higher end controllers are pretty fragile and not very durable. So if you just go with something like I have and just put a bunch of accessories on the standard PS4 controller, it's pretty cheap and you can get a really good controller setup for it. The next pro is that controller has aim assist. 
Now, Amos is not nearly as relevant as it used to be. Back on legacy settings where you were literally able to aimbot people through the cornfields and triple headshot someone out of air like it was nothing, that aim assist was honestly pretty crazy. Now, the aim assist is quite a bit more chill, but it is still there, which basically means that you don't need to be the most skilled aimer in the world to hit a decent amount of your shots, be accurate, and have pretty decent aim on controller. And with that being said, that kind of ties in right to my first point in the comments list like i just said it's easy to get pretty decent aim and be fairly accurate on controller but it's really hard to stay consistent with this thing going back to the first point of this video controller is pretty easy to get good at but it's really hard to get great at i've met a good amount of controller players that have only been playing the game for one to two seasons and they're pretty good your initial look you probably guess that they've been playing the game for a couple years so it's relatively easy to develop decent mechanics fast get some decent builds get some decent edits have some pretty good aim however the really hard part is staying consistent with all that stuff i've literally been playing controller on fortnite for almost four years at this point and i still mess up fairly often sometimes i'll click a button i didn't mean to click other times i'll try to click a button and i accidentally didn't click it my edits and builds can sometimes be inconsistent it seems like specifically on controller it's a lot harder to stay consistently good which means even if you have pretty decent decent aim it's really hard to have consistently good aim on controller sure you'll have occasions where you randomly 200 pump someone out of pure luck because you're on controller but to be able to 200 pump someone every time on controller is really hard i think on keyboard and mouse it takes longer to build up your aim to get decent aim but once you get decent aim you have consistently decent and good aim on controller it feels really spotty really inconsistent and that's gonna sort of tie right into my next con of playing on controller and that's that keyboard and mouse is just more fun on controller you're restricted to just moving and aiming with your thumbs while over on keyboard and mouse you have your entire left hand and all of these fingers for actual character movement and then for your aiming and all your look movement you have your entire right hand your entire right arm to move your mouse around it feels much more freeing to play on keyboard and mouse and just the overall gaming experience on keyboard and mouse just feels much better than controller now don't get me wrong playing on controller can be pretty sad satisfying sometimes it also feels a little more relaxing than playing on keyboard and mouse because you're not shaking your entire desk moving your entire arms but with that being said you also feel like you have less control compared to keyboard and mouse so just from my experience i think playing on keyboard and mouse feels really good feels really freeing but i'm bad on keyboard and mouse so i just stick to my controller plus of course there's plenty of good things about controller so as for the question should you switch like i said for content creators it can be a good thing in driving more views to your platform gives you more exposure there's more content overall for controller if you're a competitive player it kind of depends whether you play solos or trios typically keyboard and mouse players dominate solos however if you're on controller and you can find a good trio that already has one or two keyboard and mouse players then being on controller and being a fragger can be really good for your trio as for if you're just a casual I would say do whatever you feel like at that point the only thing that really matters is your enjoyment so if you find more enjoyment playing controller go for that if you find more enjoyment playing keyboard and mouse then go for that if you don't fall into any of those categories or you're still unsure i guess consider what i said in this video and how it applies to you do you value your overall gaming experience more do you value skill more do you value your aim more do you value how fast you can get good at the game more there's a lot to consider before you switch so i really do hope this video helped you and i hope to see you in a future video